So I get asked all the time, like, what's the best way to meal plan? And honestly, it's whatever works for you and your household. Um, for just getting started, one of the best things is always to write it out. So if you don't already have it, um, I have a meal prepping and prepping and planning sheet um, that's available. And so just send me a message and I'd be happy to share this with you. But this is what I use to outline what we're gonna have for the week. So um, the other thing is I always look at what I um, had the previous week, okay? So I'll go over to my fridge and I always have um, my lists of what we had last week. And sometimes things don't always go according to plan. So if I'm looking at last week, um, Monday's dinner was supposed to be cauliflower gnocchi, green beans, and chicken sausage sheet pan. We didn't make that. So <laughs> um, ended up doing ramen bowls. So now I know like, oh, okay, I still have all those ingredients. I can make them this week. Um, I do have um, leftover chili in the fridge and um, we're not doing pizza night tonight. So like, it's good to kind of look at what you did plan for last week and did it go according to plan and that's okay. Like we still ate every day this week. <laughs> um, so having extra things on hand in your fridge and your freezer is always a great option. So that's another thing I look at is I take a look at what is in my fridge, my freezer, and my my cabinets before I head to the store and before I kind of plan out my list here. So I look at what's in the freezer. I always keep things like frozen vegetables, I always keep things like frozen vegetables on hand in order to have easy access to veggies, even when I might not have fresh ones. Um, I love keeping things like cauliflower crust pizzas on hand too for an easy dinner night. And for mornings, for smoothies or Greek yogurt bowls, I love having frozen fruit. Again, um, something you don't necessarily have to have fresh. Um, whenever we have leftovers of something, I throw it in the freezer in a um, container with the label on it of what it was and when we had it um, or what I put it in there so that this is super easy like for lunch, you know, pull that out when I don't feel like making something. So this is super helpful. I also love having on hand things like frozen uh, proteins like frozen shrimp. Another really easy thing to have in order to incorporate into a meal or dinner. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what is currently in my freezer, um, you can also take a look at the fridge and see what's left over from the week. We didn't use up all of our apples. So I know that I have extra apples. I don't need to buy apples this week. We have extra eggs. So I know that I'm not gonna need to buy eggs this week. Um, we still have Greek yogurt, things like that. So just doing kind of a, a rough look at what you got. Also looking at your pantry or your cabinet. We don't have a pantry, sadly, next house. Um, but looking at, okay, I still have plenty of peanut butter. So if I'm gonna have peanut butter with any of my meals, I have some of my stir drink mixes that I use during the week to help me drink more water. Love these things, if you haven't had them already. Don't hide my messy cabinets, I need to clean them. So anyway, hopefully that helps you with just determining what is good to try and do when it comes to looking at meal planning and using our handy dandy sheet here. The other thing that is so helpful to do is my husband and I will sit down and look at our schedules for the week. You know, does he have any breakfast meetings or dinner meetings that he won't be home for? That's when I might pull something out of the freezer like that um, chili so that I don't have to cook, especially if it's only just going to be for me. 
Um, but taking a look at what your week is like, you know, if I have coaching calls uh, in the evenings on Tuesday, well, I'm not going to plan to make dinner that night because I'm going to be busy. So maybe that's when I will delegate to him and ask if he would be so kind as to make dinner. Or we are going to make something like a sheet pan meal where, you know, meal planning and prepping doesn't have to be complicated. Literally, Meal planning and prepping could be as simple as making extra to have leftovers. So if I know I'm gonna make dinner, I always try and make extra so that we can either eat it for lunch or dinner the next day, or even the next two days if there's enough. So just trying to not overcomplicate it can be so, so helpful. So I know um, if I'm just going to look at my week, I'm going to start with Saturday because I'm going to the store and today is Friday. So um, tomorrow we are actually doing a special dinner night and it is Valentine's Day weekend. So I know tomorrow we are having rosemary chicken and risotto and roasted asparagus. So I'm writing that down on Saturday. I like to do dinners first. Sometimes lunches and breakfasts are a little bit different. Um, Sunday, I know that for brunch, we are going to my niece's birthday. So we have um, Amelia's birthday brunch. So again, you can write down, do you have a dinner night with a with friends or a date night out or a fundraiser that you're going to or something that is going to take care of a meal then that's one last thing that you have to even think about um so that is a great thing to do now I am not the type of person that is going to cook all of my food for the week and put it in containers and eat it I've done that in the past um, but that's not something I really do now. What I like to do is sometimes, like I was mentioning before, just cooking enough um, to have for a few meal, extra meals or days, as opposed to thinking about what I'm gonna eat for the entire week and cooking based on that. So um, I like trying to cook more on Sunday evening, and that way we have um, food to carry us through Monday, if not Tuesday, because Mondays are usually my busy days with working and is usually when my husband works late. So just things to consider. But the other great aspect of this meal planning sheet is that it also has a snack section because I love snacks and snacks can be a great way to bridge the gap in between your meals um, to help you from becoming overly hungry. The other thing that this um, meal planning sheet is very great at is that there is a shopping list section. So again, when you refer to your fridge and your freezer and what's in your pantry, you could prevent from buying things that you already had and you've totally forgot about. It saves you money and saves you from wasting food. No one wants to be throwing away money. That's what it is when you throw away food. So planning and looking at what you got, um, figuring out what you can utilize from your pantry is another great way to stay on budget. But I hope this was helpful for you. And please let me know if there's anything else I can answer for you about meal prepping and planning. And if you want this handy dandy meal planning sheet, definitely send me a message.